twice. <laughs> they hit me twice. Who would do such a horrible thing twice? Meanwhile, Japan in the background. Oh, I wonder. Two times. That's interesting. I love how this post doesn't go any deeper than that, but pretty much everyone understood it. It's got over 28,000 upvotes in literally four days. So apparently Hiroshima and Nagasaki is just in the public's mind right now. Probably a little something to do with this. I would just like to clarify there was technically more than two things that happened bad on this day. Oh, I didn't even realize you can see Japan all the way in the background right here. Japan uh, probably shouldn't say anything regarding surprise attacks on America involving planes. Yeah, Pearl Harbor was uh, kind of a big moment there. This is probably why they seem so upset. They know they literally can't say anything, even though they probably really want to. War with Russia may or may not be imminent. NATO, assemble. You two will be my European backbone. France, channel your inner first French empire. Germany, channel your inner... Uh... You'll handle logistics. Poland, your first strike force. Show me what those Korean tanks are made of. When Russia crosses that border, I want to see you rip him apart like a dog. As for the newcomers, you help Poland hold them off until I arrive. As for, uh, man, I totally forgot how horrible your military is. So, Canada, uh, let me just fly sorties in your Arctic so we don't get flanked. As for you two, you have a very important job. Don't stab me in the freaking back, okay? What's, What's our, our job? job? Super important. You're known as the tripwire. Or in other words, the Belgium or the Chew toy, the road bump, underrated role. Russia's gonna rough you up something fierce, so Poland has time to get their poop together. Ah, uh, maybe there's some second thoughts by the Baltics. Not sure Estonia, Lithuania, and Latvia like this new NATO role. Or what am I talking about? It's not new. I think they've known this is gonna be their role the moment they join. They probably realize already if a war breaks out, they're done. But obviously the point for them to join is to hopefully counteract that. Historically, Russia always wants the Baltics, but obviously there's now some second thoughts. To be honest, I don't know what's worse. Germany channeling his inner blame or handling logistics. Oh yeah, doesn't Germany have problems with getting their trains on time? Gotta love that new term. Instead of a speed bump, they're now just the Belgium. Ah! <laughs> Soviet, hurry! Follow me! Cast it into the fire! Destroy it! No. Soviet! The one ring wins again. Or the one country ball? Poland ball? I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me just break this down. This is obviously after World War II when the Soviet Union destroyed Nono Germany. And are we discussing how possibly the Soviet Union had a chance to destroy Poland? I mean, technically, they could have just integrated Poland into the Soviet territory. Obviously, they did not do that. They just chose to set up a puppet government there. I mean, that would have been difficult. There wasn't any, like, historical claims for that. One Poland to rule them all and in the darkness bind them. I love that this was actually made a years ago. It's kind of beautiful. There would have been no country balls without Poland as well. I mean, it used to not even be called country balls. They just used to be called Poland balls. I wonder why the U.S. would not want Poland to exist. Now playing in theaters. This film. Very nice to be Nike villain for once. Versus another film being played at the very same theater. Why couldn't they make me a hero in this story? Okay, this comic, I will say, is pretty funny. The U.S. does get pretty upset when they're portrayed as the villains. Yeah, this is literally just a normal Tuesday for any German out there. The second movie is known as Grave of the Fireflies. I haven't seen that one. Some of you were saying the U.S wasn't necessarily the villain in that. And who is being you, little Clay? Am Belarus? Hmm, okay, Russ, adopt you. Work hard, my little Belarusia. <sighs> Toil fields, study hard, and bring glories to Union. Look, Papa, I'm making you wheat, potato, and colorful television for propaganda broadcast. Oh, wow. Also, refrigerator and compooper. Love the Belarusian name for this device. I've got several of those. You make Russia so proud. So now I'll award you with the red banner of the CPSU. <laughs> oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, this actually was all just a flashback. They're at the Soviet Union's grave site after they passed away in 1991. Belarus does seem to be just wandering around life pretty aimless without their old pop-pop around. That was actually pretty emotional. That'll be the first time I ever almost cried for this country. Didn't realize they contributed so much to the Soviet Union. Okay, that's your new borders, Germany. Meanwhile, angry German noises. Next! Oh, Austria! You can get the ethnically Austrian lands, and the rest will just go to Czechoslovakia or Yugoslavia. Some are happy about this. Obviously, Austria not. Next! Oh, it's Hungary. You may need to sit down. I have bad news for you. Oh, no. This is how the US or the Entente powers during World War One drew up the European borders after that conflict was over. So this is the horrors they created out of Germany after they lost World War One, with this weird enclave known as East Prussia and Poland's corridor. And then the Germans' closest ally during the Great War, Austria-Hungary. Austria was really reduced, but remember, it was Austria and Hungary, because this big, thick, green boy right here, that's Hungary. Meanwhile, Hungary was gonna look like this. Even to this day, they still look like this. And they're very, very upset about it. And no wonder they joined the Axis in World War II. Hungary, the nation that died treating. That's a good point. The U.S. and one of their cool naval boats. Captain! 
10, we just detected a Russian torpedo. Jesus. Show me. Well, it seems like it's actually going surprisingly slow. Who knows what they actually put it on down there? Those sick freaking commies over there. Ugh. Meanwhile, that Russian torpedo. Now, you gotta love uh, Russian submarines. They don't make them like they used to. I guess the solution to all the problems are tanks according to Russia. They do build a lot of them. I go oof submarine for motherland. After World War II, the concept of light tanks was resurrected in the USSR. They were used as reconnaissance and it was essential they had amphibious abilities. I actually did not even know about any of this. I love it. Gotta love that Soviet weaponry. I want free, says Algeria. Non, responds France. Literally two seconds later, and that is why. France responds telling the other Europeans what happened. Literally a brief summary of how the Fourth Republic of France fell. It doesn't get any more brief than that. This happened back in 1958. After World War II, there was a coup that took place, and you could say it was literally just because they didn't want to give up Algeria. But you could also say it was more of just to not let go of the former French colonial empire. That whole time period where we were decolonizing after World War II was pretty crazy. Meanwhile, in the 1980s, it's a great day to be freedom-hating dictatorship. Do my ears deceive me? Freedom-hating dictatorship? Dictatorship. It's Freedom Hammer time. Oh, I love this song. Uh, what is Noise B? I love how Panama Ball literally talks like a South Park character. Uh, yeah. Say goodnight. Please, no, I despise communists. <laughs> oh, that's not what I expected. Just gave him a bunch of money. Basically, U.S. policy during the Cold War, they ended up helping out a lot of dictatorships just because they didn't like communism. Sometimes even by giving them a bunch of cash, Latin America was particularly affected. But don't forget, they still ended up going after Panama. Pretty sure we still use that Freedom Hammer to the this day. A holy book explaining how world works. A founder of cubic origin. We have the Vatican thinking about Israel. I think that's baby Jesus as a cube. We have Islam with their own cubes. Then finally, is this the Soviet Union kind of? Yes, something like that. Oh, uh, we're talking communism. This is Karl Marx, possibly because he's speaking German. A heaven that does not exist on earth. Heaven, heaven, heaven. It looks very different to all three of them. Family drama. We've got the fall of Rome and what happened with the Holy Roman Empire and the church separating and then Greece for some reason. Oh, Greece, that's Eastern Orthodox. We have the Sunni and Shia of Islam fighting here. Then the divides between communism. This is specifically referencing the Sino-Soviet split. That was when China and the Soviet Union split off. And whatever the heck North Korea is doing. Destroy the old gods. Then claim to be the only true way. I cannot into CCP. Uh, follow any religion. Religion is, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Because they don't, they don't like faiths there. This is specifically China as they've adopted communism now. Because that's gone through a lot of evolutions. Interesting comparison here. Referring to it's Christianity, Islam, and then communism, socialism sort of thing. I'd never thought about it like that before, but obviously there are some interesting comparisons. There's a meme on Chinese internet calling communism the fourth Abrahamic religion. Okay, so that's where this comes from. That's where the post is coming from. And I really need to find a way to get on that Chinese side of the internet. They'd be having some banger memes. Ha <laughs> ha, says Denmark. Captain flashlight went out. Do not need flashlight. Have a bihar jagmin. What? Ding a ding a dirg. Our ancestors were Vikings. They do not need any light to guide their ship. They use only instinct. Wow, so inspiring. No, set speed of ship for three windmills length per minute. I couldn't wish for a better captain. Two minutes later, officer, I swear that bridge came out of nowhere. Oh, uh, so this is Baltimore. I actually didn't know this, but that ship that ran into the Baltimore bridge was chartered by a Danish shipping company. Well, it's time to rebuild the bridge out of Legos then, I guess. Why is nobody talking about this? Yeah, there were no actual Danish on board, though. Yeah, maybe let's not do that anymore. Hey, uh, what's that thing you always want to do? Into space? Can Poland into space? Of course, responds the EU. Poland has the industrial capacity, engineering expertise, and scientific knowledge necessary for space flight. Your foster parents are dead. I mean, yeah, it doesn't get more obvious than that. The EU complimenting Poland in this way? I don't think so. This is a reference to the movie Terminator 2. This is definitely a robot because uh, his foster parents wouldn't have said this. What's the name of that club you want to join? The Nordic Council, says Estonia. Uh, yeah, can Estonia into Nordic? Of course! Estonia's rich progress and do the- Your foster parents are dead. This is obviously a very popular format right now. I'm so glad this movie's still popular, I would personally put it as the best action movie of all time. A whole lot of Terminators walking around. Hey look, it's the old Great Empires Club. Um, excuse me? Wait, someone actually wants to join besides Iran and Mongolia? Can we join your club too? Oh, that's a lot more members than I expected. We Europeans meet all your requirements, says the UK. We want strong, says the Iberians. Bring it back aroma. Of course, France just says we. But Serbia wants Yugoslavia back. And Poland and Lithuania want to get married again. Nice reference to the old Swedish Empire. Historically have great empires as well, says Greece. Am does 
nothing wrong in the co okay Bel belgium just all right we don't need to hear anymore man this club is about to get packed i don't think they're gonna have any room for more I'm sure it's only a matter of time before the u.s joins as well oh that is a good question poor belgium and big thanks to my patrons this month Drew, je suis ton père de retour avec le lait regarde douchebag amateur oh, archaeology Norwalk, carmel s henry inquisitor serious megan underwood kansas Kansas, 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 K